today is full on art day. I have my 3D print going on day two. I've been using Cura and uh, just not really good at knowing where to put the supports and stuff. Um, today though, we're going to make a risograph print and all the art is uh, digitally prepared. I'll, uh, this is the goal. Something like this, 11 by 14. Uh, I've painted it all. And uh, it's all digitally created. And all the layers are separate and whatnot. Um, but I need to get it digitally ready, so everything's got to be black and white. And each layer is different, so that's all my black. That's my red. That's my yellow. And that's my blue. Now, all those are saved on here. So let's go out to the actual risograph where we go from digital to analog. That was scary. Went to go turn it on and it didn't have any power, so this is old school here. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. So I got to use a computer from. <laughs> I got to use a computer from 1990s because the driver for the Rizzo and the driver for this are still old enough to talk to each other. If I had a new computer, then the driver for the new computer they don't they just stop writing drivers. So yeah, that's just it is what it is. You got to kind of go back in time here a little bit. This isn't new. So anyway, the goal today is we're gonna go in here. No, we're not connecting anything. Okay, my computer. We're gonna open up this. We're gonna we're gonna print all these. So that's the. So we'll just start with. I want to start with minimal. So let's start with the yellow. And if I go to print. Yeah, that's all we're going to print down here right now. I've just got to set everything correctly. So we'll go to properties. I'm doing 11 by 17. And hit OK. And now, yeah, so that's all we're going to print out of that whole entire thing. So just that. That's that. So it's an offset printer. We're only doing one at a time. The image. I want to do a grain touch. It's unique pattern to risograph. Hit OK. And we got to get the yellow uh, drum and put it in. That will look like this. This is the red drum. This is the yellow drum. That goes on like this. Usually use some, I got some of this. Let's just use this for now. So I'm gonna throw our tester paper in here. And then what we do is we gotta burn a screen. This right here is our screen. And if you look close, you can still see the image from our last print burn the yellow onto this one. So I'm gonna tell it to print. It's gonna send everything to the printer. So right here, we're just gonna wait. So idling means, idling means it's going to prime the ink inside that drum. There's four heads. Um, and then once that's done, it can actually make like a master. Here you can see it's actually making the master. When it's done making the master, it'll switch over to print mode. So the risograph has like two things it does, makes prints or makes a master. So you don't have to burn it yourself. It's a lot like uh, screen printing. That's the drum going round and round and the ink is being shot out of four little inkjet heads. And the ink itself is just like a, a tube. I can pull one out. 
So that's it right there. Kind of like an old push pop. So right there, it just changed. Oop. And there it tells you what it's printing right there. Space Skull Yellow PDF making the master. That's our print. That's our yellow. Now that the screen's been made, I can make an endless amount of yellows. So this is my this is my first print. And if my registration's not good on this, then the rest of them are gonna suck too. But that's on there, I'll start putting the good paper in. And what I like to do is say if I, I mean, it's really wasteful, but if I want 40 prints, I'll start with 60 um, because there is a lot of misregistration and that gives me 20 prints to screw up and I'll have 40 good ones. That's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to try to do 40 prints, four colors, not screw it up. That's our goal. So yellow in the bag. Off the press. Doesn't look too bad. Everything looks really nice and solid, so I'm pretty happy. Pretty happy with that. But now we gotta set up the next color. Let's get red out of the way because blue is gross and black registers like shit. So the three colors we have left are red, blue, and black. I'm gonna go red because it's not as messy. Blue and then black, because black, my black drum doesn't register very well. So, keep you in the loop. All right, we have red. Now the tricky part. The original yellow, and put that in the machine, and hope the registration is okay. Let's take a look. You see that gap there? It looks like yeah, this one's a little, this one's gonna be deceiving. So I need to find the gaps that are important, like that to that, that to that, right here. There. So that's my registration. I need to bump it up and bump it over. All right, I ain't mad at that. I'm looking at this registration there. I mean, I could bump it up a little bit, but the whole entire thing is always gonna be about four millimeters off tolerance. So we're gonna go ahead and run those and just keep an eye on them, like do 10 at a time, 20 at a time, make sure the registration doesn't get too crazy. So these are ran, and here's where a professional studio would stop and let the ink dry so it doesn't smear everywhere. But I'm not a professional studio and no one's paying for this. The last runs looks like it skews a little bit, but it's just the yellow, so I'm not gonna freak out too much. From here on out, I'm going to line everything up with the red. Um, and that's partly why I did the yellow first. Once ink starts laying on each other, it gets thicker and thicker. I'm kind of okay right now because there's this design doesn't have ink laying on top of each other like this stuff where it's um, a blue on top of a pink or an orange on top of a yellow. That stuff, the emulsification process doesn't get to take place. It gets really goopy and gross and uh, it smears everywhere and no, most notice, noticeably before the day's over I'll have some track marks right there uh, because of because of this basically if I was super pro and I had a shit ton of money I could get a heater and run them through a heater and it'd be cool but I don't so it is what it is glove time remember how I said it's gonna get gross just from handling this print here I've already got blue crap everywhere so time for gloves hopefully this doesn't get too bad I really hate having to wait for shit to dry, but we'll see. Because it's, you know, the ink isn't dry. I've got to clean it. So there's a little roller. I don't know if you can see that. Right there. You can see the red on it, and you can see the result. There's some shock marks there. So I'm going to clean the rollers, and hopefully we can keep printing today. You notice the path of the roller goes like that. It's only passing over the red. There's not a lot of blue for it to pass through. So that's cool where you have something like this. You know, that roller is passing over all that. And that one was a real pain. I bet. Let's see. Eh, not too bad, but there's a little bit of red on my finger. And I printed that more than a year ago, I think. So this is the one that sucks because the, uh, the black drum is just... It's a used drum. It's the only one I didn't buy new. And so the calibration's just kind of skewy, screwy. 
screwy skewy. All right, so here we are, we're done. And risograph isn't perfect. You're gonna see here, you're gonna have different, different gaps for the offset. Some are gonna be gross. Some are gonna be kind of cool. Um, definitely one of the drawbacks is the roller marks here. And I tried to do some adjustments by, by how much pressure the actual feeder was using. I'll even clean the feeder a few times, but I mean, it's just gonna happen. As we get to the, hopefully as we get to the earlier ones, it won't be so prominent. And that one's not too bad there. You can take an eraser and erase that stuff, but yeah, there it is. There's my space skull. This wasn't really meant to be a, an instructional video, just kind of like if you were looking over my shoulder and seeing how I, my, how I take the printing, going from the digital to the analog, and just kind of winging it. So, yeah, that's today's mission success.